Okay, so then let me explain how this cup works. We play 15 maps. All these 15 maps were built by Yannex in his stream right before this cup. Uh, he did a speed mapping where he built these 15 maps as quick as possible. He got one hour delay though, <laughs> somehow. Uh, the cup should have started at 9 pm, now it's already 10 pm. Well, um, the, you have on each of these 15 maps, you play time attack and you have always 4 minutes of time. And the PB that you get on every map will be summed up. And winner is the driver uh, whose 15 PBs on the tracks uh, accumulated have the lowest total time. That's how this cup works. We start with map 1016 and we will play until map 1030. Special thing, uh, also multiple special things. First of all, the Sportix Cup was a weekly event at some point. It became very rare now. I don't know what the reasons are that Yannick doesn't host it more often. Um, but now he does. And I'm of course hyped to participate. But of course I'm still in the holidays. I'm still on my laptop, still streaming on the laptop. And uh, the Sportix Cup, because it's a full server with 100 people on it, has always been very difficult for me with lags on my uh, laptop. Um, I definitely had to put Open Planet off, because with Open Planet it's basically unplayable with so many players. I know that already. So I got rid of it. Um, I had big issues back in the days when the Sportix Cup happened more often. When I had Open Planet on, that was unplayable. Um, yeah, now, however, the streaming as well, it is not easy. It will not be easy. Um, but yeah, the most important thing is that on the few tracks where you can really lose a lot of time, that you always get a run through. That's super important. Always get a run through. FPS are shown in the top left again. But it's always worse than what it shows, of course. Yeah. I mean, I have some freezes already on this map. I definitely can improve still. One and a half minutes to go. This is one of my better maps, I guess. Yeah, I have the potential for a very good time. Ah. It's just this transition that I have to nail. Wasn't the greatest one, but a decent ending. I lost too much time before. Okay, small improvement as more possible. We have only one more try though. Another improvement. 
I'm still losing almost two tenths to the first place. But at least I got an improvement in the end. Okay, the ending on this map already looks a bit weird. So this could be one of these tracks which is uh, already a bit more important. Yeah, you can really lose a lot of time. But we're gonna see. Now I thought about this corner. Okay, but let's see. That was a clever finish. Good that I have such a time already, but I can improve much further. Because of this corner. Ah, wow. And I crashed. I knew it. <laughs> when I have the one run, then my car of course misses the finish there. Fuck. Because of this sudden soup from the last platform that I over jump. That in at least, but only 12th suddenly. That's like something you will see often. On the one hand, it is fast learning as you only have 4 minutes, but sometimes these 4 minutes are too long for me. In the beginning I have a really good position, but because it's still so much time, more and more players get runs together. And I drop behind, 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 and now I'm only 17th, even though I was 18th, even, even though I was in the top 3 a long time. 21st, like, it's not ending, yeah? Huh? Oh. Just in time that I did a restart. That's unfortunate. I think it was a PB if I didn't get a little soup to the left. Uh, I hit the finish on the left and then it finished very late and not as inside as possible. Yeah, 
but this is like one of these examples i learned the track extremely quick and then people have so much time to get uh, also an idea of how to play it and getting perfect ones is on my laptop a very difficult task now so i will just see how far i can get here I mean this, I think I already drove it perfectly, it makes more sense to drive it on the side. What you can do is, you can click on the ones there that the others drove. and make their ghosts on. I mean, let's try. Well, I click on Inus. He has a good time. I should see his ghost now. Interestingly, he doesn't take the trick. He goes straight over it. Maybe there is this little water trick, you know? We could maybe even do that. Okay, where the heck did he go? Oh. Ah, his ghost disappeared. Okay. This is a difficult map for me though. I'm still surprised that my early line here isn't better. Ah, okay, now I got a bit better than in other tries, but still not really overtaking the ghost. Yeah, there you see how much I could gain. Because we have only one more try. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that is an improvement, literally. <laughs> that was a good last try. First time top 10. <laughs> well, it should be a standard for me, but at the moment, not that easy. <clears throat> Alco uh, hello, Alcoholigan. Okay, what do we have here? 
This looks already interesting. Overall, you see the total time leaderboard on the left side. Uh, I can't find myself in the top 15, even though I got a good time and result. Well. Interesting. Oops, I can jump like this or is the idea to jump directly here i think that this works as well okay then let's see the wall right was already good not really now but uh, let's get a run through this quarter pipe jump will decide a lot so here wanna jump far left. Now this and uh yeah. <laughs> mm Wanted to bring that home at least. Better. So now the question, however, is what the heck did Scandia do? Because my one felt now already pretty good. I don't have much more time and I'm only 25th with my run. Yeah. A bit, was a bit annoying now because I was leading against my ghost and I had to decide do I bring that small lead into the finish or do I risk it and restart and possibly don't improve at all but this is now a map where I lose a lot of time I don't know for what kind of uh, finish position I actually can aim for it I, I would be really hyped if I could drive this now at home, uh, then I would definitely uh, try to win this thing. <laughs> but here yeah, I'm just happy if I get somehow a run through, but I can't go for perfection at all. Uh 
Wait, is this a jump? What the heck did he build here? Where's the finish? Yeah, I'm really confused. As if I should do this. But that feels wrong. So we will directly open up the current record. Because also another question that I had is this turn here. Is it outside or not? Okay, dumb boss. <laughs> He does that. Was it really an explain? We have a new a new ghost to watch. See what he does. Well, to make cars off now and try my best. I'm not sure if his line is really better. It's definitely more difficult to get through. Improve further. I got a twenty four two. Which is okay ish. Lingo beats Gandhi by almost four tenths. That was a very good time by him. I was seventeenth overall. I guess now uh, I was 15th on this map. It is okay, <laughs> but the gaps are huge. That is a bit the issue here. Ah, dirt. I like dirt. It's always an advantage if you uh, watched Yannick, how he built the maps, how he plans stuff to drive. Or well, you could theoretically, if you really do it full extreme, like full try hard. You could um, rebuild the maps that he builds and already uh, train them.
Fur Noxed Birchen. Yo. Wait, can I see those here? Uh, a three dollar donation. <laughs> Thank you a lot. I can really again. A three dollar something, it was too small, I couldn't really see it on my iPhone. Where I have to make a chat on at the moment. But uh, thanks a lot man, really appreciate it. It's difficult. A typical Yannix thing to build reactor boost off road turns. And I never really liked it because I'm not good with those. Oh, am I a second behind here? Small improvement again. I guess I need to do the break tabs. Nah, I missed completely the corner. <laughs> Damn it. Again, because I wait for the gear. Ah. Oh, leg. Leg is good. Nice. That's ninth place. I'm half a second behind first though. And every try was better than the one before. Nope, this one actually isn't. I thought because of my two brake taps, I felt like even more exit speed for a moment. Against Gandhi and Bilingo in front. Like you can make a guess who might win in the end. You see the total time. Bilingo, Ice, Scandia. Now Scandia, Bilingo again for a second. So Bilingo will lead for now. Otherwise, close Ice, Ecowolf, Lyca, Richie, Velox, Sephil, Nabla, Speedself, and the Stirk. And actually far behind Stirk. Ina snacks, so I'm 15th. I might improve. It will update after the map change. I'm 13th now, but I have already over two seconds gap to first place, and that is a lot, because we only played a few maps, and most of the maps are short. Gonna restart. What is this? Also ice maps are always extremely important because you can win and lose a lot of time on those tracks. So getting a clean run on this, a fast clean run is super important. I 
mean, there's nothing I could go for here. But if the car could actually get enough momentum from the start of the road border, the right road border, to actually flip up towards the ring checkpoint, get the reactor boost there, it could be very fast. So my first try is still decent. Ah, yeah, this exit, man. I actually went for the Yolo strat, hitting it with my back wheel. What the heck, <laughs> I slid out when I wanted to straighten out the car. Mm. Don't like it. Come on. I only finished one single try here on this map so far. Improved by 500. You be. Ah, what a shit start. Okay, I might lose a lot here. Again, a very early good run, but then, then the others also get it. Oh, nein, it slid out and I have no time. Damn it. Yeah, now I get it so good. Look at that. You can't. Also, now I got at least the exit good. The start was not fast. But this is the exit that I needed, just one time, and I get a point three or something, and I'm not losing so much. Scandia first, Nabla, Bilingo, Ender, Yep Tree. Hmm. Plastic. The later maps become more and more important, at least that's how it usually was. I actually opened the annex stream at some point because it should have started much earlier, so I had him open. I saw the last maps then. Maybe it will help me a little bit. There's not much happening on this map. Okay, shit gear as I realize. My first try again, yeah? I didn't even plan it, but I went full crib over this black ledge. That was so good. Aha. First, guys.
Scheiße. Look at that, I was even ahead. But other stuff is still two minutes. And that's so much time. Oh my god, I was even ahead. Huh? I'm confused. I guess what ghost did I try? Nein! Wow, that's a point one. There was so much more possible, and you see that I fell down to 8th place now. <laughs> I fell down to 8th place and I was leading for so long. I could have improved many times. The gear in the end is of course very shit, um, but yeah. I was very confused by my ghost. Why did I have not my PP ghost against me? I had a really slow ghost that confused me so much. But 8th place is of course still a good result. So this is gonna be very difficult now. A mix of pipe and ice. Uah. is probably just full speed. Also, surely there must be a full speed line, but this is now so impossible for me to hit. Uh. Thank you. 
I'm happy with this run. This place. That was full speed. Oh, this is this is a bit unfortunate, man. I'm not understanding it perfectly. This entry there. It's always nice when you improve in your last attempt. Oh, Scania takes over the lead by a little bit. This should be uh, the last map that I did not see in Yannick's stream. <laughs> huh? Ah, what do I know? <laughs> Maybe that was not possible now because I was uh, going into the water. Oh my god, what kind of red booster was that? Ice? <laughs> That's really annoying.
minus 1.6 seconds, that's something. Okay, this is some kind of auto slide. That was a good round. There was more possible though <laughs> I, uh, than this time. Also, I definitely could have improved this by much more. But I was a, a bit, uh, yeah, cautious in this blind right water drift. Uh, didn't really hit the apex. Took also too much speed. Out of my momentum. So yeah, wasn't optimal. Last drift also, within the no man's land. Hello Sherlock, home house. Can you join? Uh, if the server isn't full, you can join. But it might be full. So yeah, I saw this map and his thousand validation runs that he did. He always validated and then changed one part again. I had to validate then another time. This here is a little bit annoying. I think that he also realized that this is annoying, but <laughs> he didn't want to change again. This is okay. Second place. It's it's nice to have such a time already in the finish so early. The start was also nice. Yeah, it jumped a bit to inside. Oh yeah, another second place. I thought that would be even a bigger improvement than this. Oh, yeah, next uh, author time was 22.96. Wow, I didn't even beat that. Oh, well, he validated it so often. He was kind of trained, but the thing is. When he changes something, then he of course only does one single try, <laughs> and that was that time. Also, compared to me, he had way more control over this jump into the reactor, into the left aperture, that is super important, that section. 22.4, 22.3 now from the records. Well, that's again some some lead by losing almost seven tenths of that. Well, 
and for a long time I was close with them. Need one more improvement if I can. And this slowdown there is super annoying though. This is a very bad transition. Twenty one point nine. Oh, I have a two wheeler. I didn't even look. <laughs> no way. Yeah, also, what I can say about this map is that it gets mostly decided by this drop in the wall right, the drop into the left turn. And uh, there was this one try where I was not too high, for example. And now in this last one, which had a really good start, I dropped too low. And when you drop too low, you have to uh, get grip and get all this thing back up, and that's so slow. And then I risked now the last turn was already grip. So here I first thought when he built it that I would just try it like this. Yeah. But I saw already what Yannix actually intended when he built that. And that's why I say it is very important to, to watch him, I guess, if you really want to have the best chances. Because he intended that kind of 360, and I didn't think of, uh, of doing that. I was surprised when I saw that. Now the question is, what do I have to steal? Maybe like this. Okay, you can of course always do an ice slide up there, and then... Now doing a 360 isn't too, too difficult. Also, I, I, wa I was also not sure what I need to press to perform this 360. But you just tried a few things that are like options and then you find it out. But I didn't get it as quick as Yannick said. I didn't find that one. was a sick box slide. <laughs> okay. That one shows that I could improve this. Imagine I would have hit the end again. Also nobody got it really good so far.
F1 mod 2. Go stop. Ah, and I lost my lead. Even two people overtake, yeah, that's a big help. And now I'm only fourth. Ah. But yeah, okay, the winner now 0.51. <laughs> that is kinda what I could have driven with a perfect end in that one try. Also the, the thing is that this hairpin corner on the top was really not that good for me. I didn't hit that well um, in my PB. You can take much more speed out of this turn. So this track here has an interesting ending turn because you have icy and wet tires at the same time and you have no grip, absolutely no grip. Uh, so you are just sliding through the last corner. It looks very awful. I can try if I. Oh, actually, you can't no slide this. That could be very good for me. Because no slides are, are nice. I can do them well. Also, when Yannick validated this, he was always sliding through it. The no slide is very tricky, of course. It would be a grenade, grenade turn. Bit confused with this roof fit landing. Yeah. Actually, only 6th place, 7th place, well... Also, the others also know it then, that this must be no slide. Yeah, this is what happens if you lose the no slide. You slide out and you have no chance to catch the slide again. Still have a full minute. First drift is so weird. The penalty slows you down, the red boost gives you speed again. Missed my PB by a little bit. The last one. Ah, again. How does Belingo do a point zero zero? 
I mean the second turn here over the penalty with the box slide. That is like a, a little issue. I don't know how this is, how the best line looks like there. Maybe I did it still wrong. But the last turn I didn't do wrong because I full speeded the no slide, so you cannot really gain anything towards a full speed no slide that I take as well tight. Am I trying to get a lasting record? So what this competition here is about, as you can also do exclamation mark vortex, I guess that also works, but uh, what this is about is that we have 15 maps built by our next, and in these 15 maps uh, we have always 4 minutes of time attack, and the goal is so, uh, also, uh, all your 15 PBs that you get on each map will be summed up to a total time, and you see the total time on the left side. And the goal is to have the lowest total time possible. Actually, I made a huge comeback, I just realized. I went up to 7th place in the total time, see it on the top left. So you see that these maps that I actually saw Yannick stream, they have a huge impact on my uh, overall position. Until here at least. But uh, I can't improve further probably because there's a huge gap now to the next place. So I got something in my stream, I heard it. <laughs> but I just can't look what it is because I need to get a very good run through this. A tenth behind first up, but a good position. That's how usually Spartax Cups look like in the beginning. Okay, the maps are also easy on the start, but in the beginning. I'm on such bad positions, and now I'm, even though also that I'm almost a second behind first, I have still a good position somehow. Some players might have left because they fell down too much. Some players are not focused anymore. Different reasons. But in the beginning, when I had such a distance, it was often they're also outside of the top 20. <laughs> but okay, I would still fall that far behind here, for sure. But there is at the moment not much activity in falling down positions with this time. Naja, let's improve my time though. The type is a bit weird. What a driving one. When do you do that? Not often. Yeah, only small improvement. I can improve this by much, much more. Come on. Still had to release so much. Ah, was the last attempt already? Only 18th now. Uh, okay, speaking of the top 20, it is all the last turn. These reactor turns, I really they don't play them. <laughs> I have no idea how to take them. I would need to hunt them much longer. My, pro my problem now was. It was a good run. I lost time in the water already, but it was a good one. The thing is that I had no angle for the finish jump and I had to release before I jumped off. 
Uh, and in the optimal case, it's just show full speed. So, Chaffee Bean has uh, subbed with Prime. Thank you. So, this is the last map. I dropped two positions here against uh, Sephil and Dum. And this last map here is super dank and weird. So, it can go either way. I can gain a bit, I can lose a bit. Okay, he changed this. I didn't look it to the end because he. Oh, ability. Uh. Yo, what the heck did he build here? Not confusing at all. And he has this beautiful finish here for us. So, yeah. Beautiful map. At the moment Scandi is leading with 8 tenths ahead of Bilingo, but on this map I can tell you you can easily lose that much time. Okay, I see. Oh yeah, is this difficult? Okay, okay. Now I have to get a run through. I mean, at least the one through. Oh yeah. Man, if I didn't hit this thing, and it slowed me down maximum. What shall I say? I finished a point eighty one, another point eighty one, and a point nine. Every single try could have been so much better, but they all ended up at the same spot, which is super annoying. Twenty first place will not bring me anywhere. Interestingly, Scandi is only fifteenth. Belingo is ninth. Also, Belingo had the chance to overtake Scandi, but only with the top place he could have gotten that. Well, I don't think that I will stay top 10 because 21st is just a bit too far behind. On the other hand, they are not much ahead. But speed self, uh, for speed self it is exactly enough. Like when I look at him, he has exactly enough. Yeah, you see that. <laughs> and I told it. It's not top 10 and it is speed self who overtook by a bit. And Laika 
also just close. He had the exact time that he needed, and I drove three times the same time. Beautiful. But yeah, I was 7th not long ago, and 7th place is also not far, or even 6th place is not far. So that was possible. Otherwise, we have Scandia, Bilingo, and Ice. Ice actually close to Bilingo, and yeah, big gap to fourth. And that was the Sportix Cup. We will see if that if that comes more often now again.